to y'all we come with my favorite movies to watch during october slash halloween y'all listen this is the perfect video to come with like i think we got like five six days before halloween y'all so i think this is literally the best time to like watch this plus it's literally almost halloween let me know if y'all got do, is y'all like dressing up this year like okay i also got i got a question so what at what age should you start trick-or-treating like we should have like like an adult trick or treating, like make because I'm I'm a 21, so maybe I'm still like in my little kid era. I don't know, nigga. But I feel like I'm gonna be a child my whole life. So like, if y'all if y'all don't like people being like child like and like still keeping their child um like energy, then I ain't, you ain't gonna like me. Cause listen, I'm gonna be a child. My, I'm a, at 60, 70, bro. Like, I'm, I I want to still play in the sand. I want to play in dirt. Not like that. That's just me. Yo, so y'all let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Let's go ahead and get into the video. I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. Cause why is y'all warning before the video even starts? This, this say warning before this video begins. What the? This video is, mo is my most. Okay. And I wouldn't have it. Exactly. Be you, bro. Be you. Like, forget what everybody be trying to say, bro. Talk to me. Hello everybody and welcome Hello. back to a brand new video. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at my favorite what movies movie to this? watch during October. That's slash Bumps, that. That's and there might be some picks in here that you weren't expecting. Maybe there's some in here you've never seen that you can add to your list. But I watch these literally every single year at least once. Okay, let me guess. 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 Every year, um, if you're anything like me, bro, you're going to watch Halloween Town. Halloween Town, bro. If you don't watch Halloween Town, bro, they're Halloween... Hey, maybe you might be a little older than me, but listen, growing up watching Halloween Town, Chef Kiss every time. Nigga, I'm, nigga, after Halloween Town, I'm I gotta move on to the second one. Like Halloween Town is is tough. I think they got like three. If I'm not mistaken, three or four, maybe three. I think I know they got two for sure, but I'm pretty sure they got a third one. But I don't I don't think I ever. I think I seen it once, but it's not like as good to me as the first two. But I'm gonna rewatch it. I'm out. Shit, fuck, I'm gonna start watching today. Like tonight, actually. But um, Halloween Town, maybe Freddy Cougar, um, maybe the Saw movies, um, Jeepers Creepers, maybe Jeepers Creepers, that that, that might be on there. Take the Chainsaw. Oh, Coraline, Coraline, I watch that. Like I, I watch that when even when it's not Halloween. Coraline is amazing. Please watch it if you haven't seen it. I love this it. in the month. Before we get into it, I just want to say this video is sponsored by me. Uh, please subscribe. That's all. Uh, yeah, here we go. Let's yap shout about out, some Halloween films. Big shout out. Let the yapping begin. On both parts, it's not going to be yapping. So, Trick or Treat is a movie that I saw recently that I tried to watch way back in the day, and I didn't really enjoy it. I don't know what happened. Maybe my brain just got better. I love this film. If you were looking <laughs> for something that encapsulates Halloween and the season into a film, it is this movie. This movie is amazing when it comes to giving you the Halloween vibes. Okay, In the okay. first 30 to like 40 minutes of this film are absolutely fucking insane. The intro to this film is crazy. Okay. Also, the killer in this film is so iconic. You've probably seen them at Spirit Halloween or just looking on the internet if you're a fan of- Not gonna lie, I have never seen this in my life. And the fact, y'all, y'all can't see it because of my block and it. Oh shit, wrong damn thing, hold on. That shit cost one hundred and eighty dollars. My dog, one hundred eighty is insane, bro. Nigga, they they literally pat your pockets, bro. Pat your pockets. Movies at all? I guarantee that you have probably seen this movie. No, I've never seen it. If that. you haven't, definitely check it out. It is an amazing. I'm Halloween gonna write it down. Film. I'm gonna watch it. Every time I say an amazing Halloween film, I feel like I'm talking about the Halloween franchise. I know you guys probably don't hear it like that, but it, that's just what it is in my head. No. This one is on HBO Max if you have a subscription there. So. That's where you can watch we'll it. it. Some people call it Max. This film was always going to be here. Bro, I, I know game, bro. I know game. If you don't watch Halloween Town, bro, like, you're insane, bro. Like, you got to be my age to really understand or a little bit older, bro. Like, if you, like, 19, like, like you said, 1998, bro, I'm 21. So, that's, that, the movie's older than me. Bro, Halloween Town is a class. Y'all, I miss when Disney was in their bag. I feel so bad for the children who's growing up now. And they get to experience like Halloween, how I did, like turn on the Disney Channel. Right, Disney Channel was literally pee back in the day, y'all. Yeah, you just won't understand, bro. Grew up with this franchise. I love this movie. Yes, it is corny, but it is amazing. See, I do not care. This I is watch literally well, the perfect but... Halloween film. I mean, it's literally called Halloween Town. 
this movie has so many memeable parts of it. It is so fun to watch with friends Thanks. and family. This is just something I would like to say. I don't remember that. Children, <laughs> please put them on to movies like this, and please don't give them that Coco Melon fucking brain rot TikTok shit. Yeah, put them nah. on Halloween Town, please. Grow you know me when I have class. kids. I got. I'm a half put, of this I'm movie doesn't make sense. Half of it does. It doesn't matter. I'm throwing this movie on. I'm watching this probably three times this month, maybe even four. Halloween Town and the sequels, dude, they're just all so good. I definitely watch this. Maybe if you didn't grow up with this, uh, you won't enjoy it. Exactly, you won't understand, but, bro. Oh my gosh, I love Halloween Town. Harry Potter. Interesting. Interesting. He might be putting me on watching Harry Potter during the Halloween. That might be a banger. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Yeah, like some of y'all don't know, I've seen every Harry Potter movie. Like literally, growing up, yo. My uncle and I, my uncle made me a nerd, so I ain't gonna lie, I, I've seen Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings and, um, what's that new, Dungeons and Dragons, and I've seen every, I think I've seen almost every Star Trek movie, and almost every Star, um, Star Wars movie too, like, but, okay, okay, Harry Potter. This though. one might be a bit of a weird take, I like it though. Harry Potter films, specifically the Sorcerer's Stone, mm. and also the Prisoner of Azkaban really give me the Halloween vibe. Interesting. But honestly, I'm just going to binge all these movies in October. Yeah, There's I mean, something that's, that's about it, especially towards the end of the films when they get darker. It really just kind of feels like this horror scenario. I, I don't I know. It. I just love it during October. Imagery and the soundtrack. I don't know, dude. I don't know why it hits so hard in October, but Harry Potter is just so good. Mm. Sorry I'm not going into, like, tons of detail on these films. Um... I don't know what detail to give you guys besides these are just my favorites. I could tell you more about this story, but oh. this one's Harry Potter. Yeah. Everyone knows Harry Potter. The boy who lived has come to die. This next one is Halloween. And when I say Halloween, I actually mean the film this time, not the holiday. Um, I'm going to actually say that this is probably my number yeah. one. I literally don't think I've ever missed a year in my whole entire life watching this. Obviously, yeah. it's probably not true. But when I was old enough to have a memory mm. and watch horror films, I don't think I've ever skipped it. I've watched it at least once every single year. I, never and I do not regret it. I love this film. I, I, I haven't it. seen I all of them. Even now, it still kind of creeps me out. It's not necessarily like a scary movie, but there are definitely some scenes that I think about every now and again that I was like, wow. That's creepy. I've seen this movie a hundred million times. Dang. And this still kind of creeps me out if I think about it enough. If you don't know the story about this, it's it's Michael Myers. He's going around killing people. That's oh. all you get. I already know you know the story. So nah, you know, Michael Myers is probably the most iconic really killer of all time. Y'all might get on my ass. Do not crucify me. I'm just I've saying that's kind of like a general movie. statement. It's kind of a toss up. I've seen the last one. We watched it on stream, bro, like a while ago. When I first started um, doing YouTube and streaming, we watched the very last one. That dude was terrible. <laughs> bro, bro. Bro, it was so bad. Y'all, like, we literally watched it on stream, y'all. On Twitch, bro. Follow my Twitch. It's gonna be in the um, description. But listen, we watched it on um, stream, y'all. Y'all, it was so bad, I had to apologize at the end of the movie, bro. That movie was so, <laughs> that movie was so bad, bro. I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry y'all had to watch this. <laughs> Yo. Between Freddy Krueger, Michael bro. Myers, Jason, you can really I'm pick me. any. Definitely, probably number one on this list. I'm dead, bro. Why did I not guess Monster House? Monster House. Yup, yeah, y'all. Yeah. If you know me, bro, you know I love Monster House. Bro, I'm, literally, he's putting me on Halloween Town again to watch and, and Monster House, bro. I'm literally going to talk. I'm li After this, I'm calling up my girlfriend. I'm like, yo, get ready. Because, hey, these the movies we watching. Point Bay Pier. Like, if you don't have a Halloween fall date, bro, with your girl, your man, bro. Lock in. Take your girl, your man, to the, the pumpkin patch. Or, like, you feel me? Go paint some pumpkins. Carve pumpkins. What are you doing? Get into the spirit. Like, like, hey, if time's tough, listen. Go to, like, five and below. And, but I promise you, they got stuff, bro. I'm trying to put y'all on. But make your girlfriend, man, happy. Love y'all. Next up, I just watched this film. I just watched this film last week. Monster House. Monster right. House is honestly, Fire. as I get older, Pink. probably one of the funniest films I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Facts. Especially the dynamic between the two police officers. Some of the scenes in there are just golden, dude. They're so fun. Not to mention Chowder, dude. He's carrying this whole entire movie. Nah, he is facts. so funny. Facts. Basically, the story of this film is that there's two kids, uh, Chowder and DJ. 
and they're like, yo, the girl too, huh? there's something up with this house and tried to eat me. And nobody believes them. They're like, it's just a house, bro. What are you talking about? And if I actually were to give this movie a gripe, there's some scenes where I'm like, how the fuck is no one seeing this big ass Thank house you, in the middle of this neighborhood Thank you. like eating dogs and shit? I'm like, like there's the parts where the house literally transforms into a monstrous being. It's loud and as nobody is saying it's nothing. everything in its path, and no one has seen I it. I gotta watch the video on that. Whatever, I'm gonna pretend that doesn't exist. Uh, the movie is perfect. All right, Facts. I love Monster House. Facts. Scary Godmother Halloween. What is that? Is that, is that what I think it is? is that, y'all, if that's what I think it is, y'all. If this is what I think it is, y'all. If this is what I think it is, y'all. I'm finna, I'm finna love this dude. If this is what I think it is, y'all. I'm, yo, if this is what I think it is, I'm going to lose my shit. Is this what it is? Now, this one is the deepest cut, and I feel like nobody is going to know what I'm talking I, about. I think I do. Let's. Yo. 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 He knows. He knows. He knows he's on the game. He's the coolest nigga alive. He, he, he's just like me. He's just like me. I didn't, yo. Oh my God. I literally, oh my God. I'm literally, yo. If you haven't seen this movie, you won't understand, bro. And I don't think you will even understand if you haven't seen this movie and you watch it as an adult. But yo, this movie is peak. Perfect in every single way. I have literally had dreams about this movie. Not not, not not recently, but when I was a kid, yo, I used to be like, bro, what movie is that? And it came back on one time. Bro, oh, yes, bro, yes, bro. Actually, I'm writing it down, bro. Like, I, like, I'm sorry, bro. Like, this movie is peak, bro. You wouldn't understand. Like, writing it down right now. Movies, uh, scary guy. Yes, bro. Yes, yes, bro. You you, you wouldn't understand, bro. Watch the movie. Like, they, they, they come back to me and let me know. This movie's fire, bro. This movie's literally tough. Um, I love it to death. Um, okay, now we continue move. Yes. Scary Godmother is an all-time classic Peak. Halloween Peak. time October Peak. film. Facts. I think there's also a sequel to this, uh, which I also equally enjoy. It's on YouTube, Facts. by the way. Let's look up Scary Godmother, Revenge of Jimmy, uh, DVD. I remember that one. That's I remember that one. And I'm also pretty sure that the original is on YouTube as well. I don't know why I'm whispering. I'm not sure if it's like illegal that it's uploaded. I really don't want it to get removed. Fact. Just look up Scary Godmother mm -hmm. Halloween Spooktacular Tonight. DVD quality. Throw it up on the TV. I actually want to see my girlfriend. Not the tonight. TV. And it's a little bit uncanny. I'm not going to lie. Some it's of tough. the animation is a little funky. It's tough. I also remember this movie scaring the fuck out of me. Like literally nah. scaring me so Bro bad. was cool. Like, Bro was shit. Why. And then as I got older, it didn't scare me as much. And now it's just a movie yeah, I watch. Probably. Every he did nightmares, bro. Like, dude, cool. Look at the eyeballs on these kids. This is freaky as hell. Paranorman. I like that one. Coming up next, we got Paranorman. I didn't see this film until my girlfriend. I'm surprised he ain't got Coraline, it. bro. What's going on? I love this movie. This movie is touching. This movie is important. Uh, it's more than just just a film. You know, it, it really speaks to the heart. I don't know what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah. This is around the time where like puppets and like handmade clay models Stop are still motion. being used with claymation. And that is probably my favorite style of animation, along with, you know, like the Disney hand drawn Facts. stuff. But Facts. I miss like the movie, um Oh my god, is it like Mr. Fantastic Fox? I think it's I think that's the name. That movie y'all. Please, please go watch. Oh my god, please. Uh, amazing movie. Um crazy crazy dialect, crazy conversations in that movie, crazy, crazy, you gonna learn crazy lessons about yourself, uh, but bro, W movie, W movie, like, when I watch that, bro, huh, my, like, instead of my leg, my, my heart, my heart, like, that's, that, bro, tough. These kind of films, tough these movie. films, like, they just resonate with everybody, because everyone has grown up with them, everyone knows what they look like. And I can't really think off the top of my head a stop motion film that's come out recently to the extent of like Paranorman or Caroline or films like that. There is Poor so line. much work that goes into Poor these line, films. Bro. And I seriously can't even imagine doing 1% of the things that Facts. these people do to get these films out. The story for Paranorman Facts. is that young Norman has the ability to speak with the dead and he often prefers their company to that of the living. 
Norman receives word from his strange hey. uncle. That's a funny little thing. It's not even a hot take. True. The old witch's curse on their town is real and about to come true. Mm. Basically, he has to find a way to stop it. This movie can be watched with the whole entire family. Even if you're an adult, uh, don't be ashamed. This. <laughs> Wait, what? This one isn't a film, but it's literally every single R.L. Stein Goosebumps TV show, the one that was shot in uh, Canada. I absolutely love these episodes. I that's, grew up with them. Not I still watch them to this day, especially the slappy ones. Oh, also, what was the one? It was like the mask, the haunted mask is what it was. I remember this one. Dude, I remember the this haunted one. mask is absolutely I terrifying. Nah, Even okay. to this day, like watching like, the okay. that's kind of creepy. I'm not yeah, gonna lie. But for this category, that. honestly, just wait, there's a mask for this on Amazon? What the fuck? I know what I'm wearing to the Halloween party. Probably. I'm just kidding. I don't get invited to anything. Yeah, but take your pick. Literally, okay, I'm too, sorry, bro. guys. Me Look too, at bro. this one. Look at this mask. This is, that's fine. This is weird. Could you that's imagine fine. this coming to your door saying trick or treat at nighttime? Whoever's wearing that would get the stiff arm right to the cranium. I am not standing for that. <laughs> Damn, yeah, you can honestly choose any single <laughs> Goosebumps episode. They're all amazing. And one of them even has uh, Ryan Gosling in it. And that one is pretty Which good. Which one is that one? I'm like flying through these. There are a lot of movies that I, I enjoy remember. watching. And you also might be noticing that a lot of these actually aren't like super hardcore horror I films. like that though. It's because I honestly don't really enjoy watching them around exactly. this time. I'm more into like the campy, stupid Halloween films. Like I can enjoy a good horror film any time of the year. It does not matter. But I am actually going to include a real one. Uh, the Conjuring. I don't think I've ever talked about this. Hell no. <laughs> To the north, oh, no, no, no. Mm -mm. You won't catch me watching this one. Film on my channel before, <laughs> and I was honestly kind of saving it for a later date, but I'm just gonna add it here. The only time I ever talked about the Conjuring films is when I was dissing the movies that were coming out. But I wouldn't even diss I feel man, like after them the hoes, second play. film, they kind of just. You heard about what happened? I understand on, that's on completely set. opinionated. People probably love the other ones, but the first two movies is where my heart lies, yep. and especially in the first one. I feel like The Conjuring 1 was the first movie to really make me feel super scared. On top of it being actually pretty scary, I think it's a very engaging film following like almost a family drama at certain points. Mm. I love the introduction of Ed and Lorraine Warren. I just, I don't know, I just love this film. And the funniest thing is, is that I do not believe in ghosts. I do not think ghosts are real. And this movie still freaks me out. But yeah, if you're looking for an entertaining ghost film that honestly kind of takes itself a little bit okay, seriously, bro. definitely check this out. <laughs> I'm yeah, good. I assume you probably yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that one, one Swan. Film. You got that one. But yeah, this is another one I love to watch during October. Keep it. You can keep it. You can keep it. I think I'm kind of running out here a little bit, but I'm going to add a couple of suggestions. Coraline? Maybe one will just pop into my head. There is a show that I think everybody here needs to watch, and I feel like it definitely does not get talked about enough. Show, 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 show. For Halloween, it could either be... Yeah. Which is a way to place. Um, It could be... What's another good show? Walking Dead. A lot of people talk about, about Walking Dead. Be. I don't know. That is Midnight Mass. Midnight uh, Mass is genuinely one of the best shows I've ever seen in my entire life. Really? It's a Netflix exclusive. It's made by Mike Flanagan. And I binge watched this whole entire thing in like two days. Performances are amazing. There is a really solid one take shot in here. Mike Flanagan loves his one take, so definitely pay attention if you're watching any Mike Flanagan project, look out for one shot, like one take shots. I feel like at some points it is a little bit predictable, but then again, if you're someone like me who's kind of dumb, uh, you don't really see what's coming sometimes. I'm also quickly gonna add The Haunting of Hill House. It's also another Mike Flanagan project, so obviously this guy knows what he's doing. And there is an episode in here that is a one take, and I would say that it might be the most impressive one take I've ever seen in anything. Besides the one take scene that's in True Detective, the True Detective one shot scene blew my mind. The Haunting of Hill House is based off the Shirley Jackson novel, which is also a great read. And I know these are shows and they're probably a little bit harder to watch with everything that I'm suggesting. Uh, they're definitely worth a watch at any time. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm all out of movies that I personally watch every single October, but I okay. do have a suggestion. There is a film named Sleepy Hollow with Johnny Depp. I just watched. Y'all, yeah, I started this. I haven't finished it. This is about the Hillis horse, Horseman, right? I think I started it. I have not finished it. I watched this recently. I don't think I'm going to watch it every single year, but it's definitely a great Halloween film. 
I'm not gonna lie, there are some parts where I'm like, damn, this is the longest one hour and 45 minutes I've ever seen no, in my entire I, life. No, 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 no. When I was watching that shit, I'm like, like I fell asleep. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But I, I'm gonna lock in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna let you know. Too much to love about this film. It has too much charm. It's made by Tim Burton. This was Johnny Depp in his prime, his most handsome. So you can't really look off the screen. The story for Sleepy Hollow is set in 1799. Sleepy Hollow is based on Washington Irving's classic tale. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> Faithful to the dreamy, custom-bound world that Irving paints in his story, the film mixes horror, fantasy, romance, and features an extraordinary cast of characters what that travel to the supernatural. I'm just reading <laughs> straight off of the Google like thing. I didn't write that, guys. And yeah, those are my favorite films to watch. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, W List. Halloween season. W really List, bro. Enjoyed this. W this List. is a yapping video. I had a lot of fun filming this and just talking, not taking it too seriously. And I'm begging you, please, in the comments, leave your favorite films. I need to watch bro. more of these. I need to keep adding. I need to tell me. I ain't gonna cap. You put me on, bro. Well, you ain't put me on because I seen them. But, like, we had the same thoughts. So, like, like, what can I give you, bro? Like, what could I really give you? I'm trying to think. Um, What's a good movie? Like, what's a good I don't know, because you name the ones I watch. Like, I don't even know what to tell you. Um, y'all, if y'all have any good Halloween movies, please leave them down. Like he said, leave them down. The original video is going to be down in the description. So go over to bro, because bro is cool as shit. Bro, I like him. Go ahead and subscribe to his channel. Love y'all, and I'll see y'all next video. We out. Bye.